Does this Lego contraption even deserve to exist? You be the judge. I've made a lot of weird and wacky generators in my time. Some big, some small, and some needlessly over-engineered. But none are as pointless yet genuinely satisfying as this little guy. This one is still one of my favourites that I find myself fidgeting with just because of how fun it is, and how tiny it is. But the question is, is that good enough? We'll see what this compact little thing can do in a minute. To build this thing, I needed some magnets. These small neodymium ones are good and powerful. Now every good generator needs a solid base, so I fashioned one out of this lift arm cage thingy, and then, true to its name, I needed to make this thing wiggle, so I chose these rubber bands. Then I'll need to mount the magnets onto something. These lift arms just happen to be the perfect size to host them. Before they go on is the fiddly task of positioning the magnet mount and elastic bands onto the base. Now we can pop the magnets into place. Cool! Okay, let's secure this contraption by building it a nice cage. Great! Now let's introduce the magnets to the cage. And we'll secure the top band. Now we have this suspended magnetic core. Let's give it a quick poke. And a little wiggle. Go! It moves fine. And lastly, we'll need some wire. These copper, nightmarishly thin-wired bobbins are perfect, as annoying as they are to work with. Great, we're done! And if you wiggle, 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 voila! We have a fun little fidget gadget thing that flashes, and quite brightly. It sure is satisfying when you get a good rhythm going. The faster you bounce it, the brighter it gets. But is it useful? Hmm, hard to say. In a second, we'll see how long it takes to accumulate a small charge. In the meantime, if you can think of a way of making this useful, please comment below. I'm genuinely interested. First though, my favourite way of messing with this thing is to make it portable. These pieces here are perfect for mounting a small LED onto the wiggler itself. Now I can pick it up and mess with it under my desk during meetings, while turning my video off to make sure I'm not making anyone uncomfortable. Okay, I suppose if we could store some of this energy in some capacitors, then it might not be totally useless? Let's see just how much wiggling we need to do to bring these caps up to a useful voltage though. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot of wiggling. So, I'm really not sure how useful this wiggler is. But does everything really need to be useful? There's just something about it that makes me keep picking it up and messing with it. And so for me, it's a permanent fixture on my desk. Lastly, the generators I showed at the beginning of this video only account for about a third of my weirdly large collection. So if you'd like to see more on any of them, comment below and feel free to subscribe.